Nature has an order, a power to restore balance. Welcome to Run Junkie. This past weekend, we saw American history. That's right. Alex and I finally got around to watching Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. Well, that and Galen Rupp broke his own American record. He ran 26.44. And he made it look easy. To put it in perspective, he would have beat a 2x5K team of Cesarek and Kathuka. That's crazy talk. No, it's true. Galen's 10K record wasn't the only storyline of the whole weekend. Shan and Roberry run the American record in the two mile. And Suleiman ran the fastest mile ever run on American soil. Central ran 350 and we saw classic Leo Manzano winning the international mile in 352. Yeah. And Mary Kane got eighth in the 800 running 202 proving the rumors to be true. Mary Kane is human. And I'm human again. Also, Maggie Vesey wore this. I'm so fancy. Over in the college scene, we are just a week away Whoa. from the NCAAs, but unfortunately, there's a few people who will not be joining us. We saw Penn's Tommy Awad fail to make it in the 1500, oh. and Villanova's Sam McKenzie did not qualify. Ooh. There's a 336 runner not going to nationals. Oh, bummer. The Razorbacks lost out on Ooh. big time field event points. They lost their number one long jumper, Jerry and Lawson. He's number one in the nation and they lose their high jumper, Anthony May. And also a crushing blow for old Mrs. Ricky Robinson. He came back for a fifth year, only had outdoor eligibility. He's a top triple jumper and high jumper in the nation, and he fails to qualify in both. Ugh. The team side just got heated. For the women, the Longhorns are looking for big time revenge Ooh. over the Ducks, and they might have found their edge with Mariel Hall in that 5K. Yeah, that 5K is going to be legit. You got the number 10 all-time Hall, number three all-time Cup, number four all-time Abby D, and the defending champ. Are you kidding me? It's going to be like a lot of fun. I just really can't wait. On the men's side, we did a little projecting, and it looks like it's going to take 80 points to win the meet. 80. New high score, is that bad? What does that mean? Now that's taking into account the athletes' PBs from both Florida and Oregon. Now if you project that, they're about in the high 70s, low 80s. Usually it takes about 50 points to win this meet. This year, two teams could score 80. That is unreal, but let's also not forget about Texas A&M. They are the uh, sleeper team. They have, they're have they a little upset with all the Florida talk with them running 259. They want to show up. You saw what they did at SECs. They dominated. They got a slew of runners through in the West. So look out for them to maybe Surprise. You know, I love surprises. This week on Flowcheck, we're gonna have that Rome Diamond League meet. Win in Rome. And we're gonna see Doha 1500 2.0, plus a good women's 5K where we have Kim Connolly and Molly Huddle, could she break her own American record? And also look at LaShawn Merritt is back in that 400, and we have the men's steeplechase. Turn down for what? Turn down for what? 